So do I need to know Korean if I want to teach English in Korea? And so I'm splitting this up into two categories. So do I need to know Korean for teaching English in Korea? The answer is no. You do not need to know any Korean for teaching English in Korea. For example, at my school, the private hagwon, it was, um, they had something like the English only policy. So you were only allowed to speak English to all the students and all the students were only allowed to speak English to you. So no Korean. If they spoke Korean, it was like, hey, no Korean, no Korean. So um, you, don't, you don't need to know any Korean to teach English in Korea. Also for the EPIC program, if you work at a public school, you don't need to know any Korean to get hired. Um, now, do I need to know Korean for living in Korea? That's a different story. <laughs> um, so most of the time, people living in Seoul, in Seoul, English is pretty widely spoken everywhere. In, you know, the restaurants, all the, like the, all the places, pretty much everybody speaks English in stores and pretty much, um, Outside of Seoul, it's a little bit of a different story. So like in my city, pretty much, um, yeah, I find people um, who speak English here and there, but they're not that common, not that many people. So if you know Korean, it's definitely going to help you living in Korea. Um, also, if you live in Seoul. Um, so I definitely recommend, you know, learning some Korean before you go. Um, just to help you, you know, settle in to your new life in Korea, make friends, just get around, you know. <laughs> it starts at like going to the convenience store and buying something and the person asks you, do you want a bag? You know, just little things like that. And or just, you know, knowing how to say hello, thank you and please goes a long way. Um, Koreans, you know, they're very helpful. If they see like you can't speak any Korean, they will help you and be helpful and try their best um but if they see like you're making an effort you know a little bit a little bit of korean it really goes a long way and um so i definitely highly highly recommend it and um i actually want to share a link for anyone who's interested in learning korean um i highly recommend 90 day korean and i'm just dropping the link into the comment box you can check it out 90 day korean um, they offer a lot of great resources and programs. Uh, you can work with a teacher or by yourself. Um, you know, it's a really great resource for learning Korean. And, um, you know, it can't hurt learning a little bit of Korean before you go. There's also a lot of options learning Korean while you're here. But um, due to COVID, a lot of those things are not happening right now, like the in-class Korean uh, courses. There also is a government-sponsored course or program. It's called KIIP, the Korean uh, Korean Integration and Immigration Program or something like that. So that's specifically for foreigners living in Korea. Um, you basically can take free Korean classes. You go to a school um, and uh, you can learn Korean there and it's th through the government and they have like six levels if you go through all the levels you are actually able to change your visa to a permanent like resident visa so it's a really good program that helps a lot of people who are serious about korea and they really want to stay here and they want to be a part of everything they um take it and i actually took took this course it's really helpful um challenging but helpful and um yeah i highly recommend it Moses asks, do you speak Korean, Linda? I do speak Korean. Oh, sorry. I do speak Korean. Um, I did also learn, started learning Korean before I got to Korea. I was living in China at the time. And um, I had, I met this girl who was Korean, who was from Korea, but she lived in China uh, with her family. And she taught me some Korean before I went. And then when I uh, moved here, I started um, taking Korean classes at the local YMCA here in my city. And then I also started with that KIIP program that I just talked about. And I did all the levels there. So um, I can speak Korean, 
but um, I wish it would be better after almost six years. Um, so I definitely need to, need to learn some more. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, check this out. Um, 90 Day Korean. I highly recommend it if you want to learn Korean. <laughs> check it out. And then let me answer a question from Juliana. She asked, do they have any Christian schools? Yes, actually, there's a lot of Christian schools in Korea. Um, also, maybe a fun or interesting fact about Korea, about 50% of the population or the people in Korea are like, so it's like split 50-50, half and half. Half of them are Christian and half are Buddhist. So typically older people tend to be Buddhist and younger people tend to be Christian, sort of. Um, so yeah, but definitely there's a lot of Christian schools. Also a lot of Christian private schools, Christian um, international schools, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.